Well, once a month this time of year, the Florida Sport Aviation Antique and Classic Association has a little fly-in. And this month it was at 12 Oaks Air Park, just southwest of Ocala. Now these pictures were taken pretty early in the day, and so everybody that was going to show up hadn't showed up yet. But boy, oh boy, did they ever start coming. At this time of the day, I imagine we had 55 or 60 airplanes there. And before the day was over, they were stretched all the way down this 2,600 foot runway, wingtip to wingtip on both sides. The people at 12 Oaks really know how to throw a party. From this beautiful Waco and Fairchild aircraft to the latest in the light sport uh, manufactured and home built uh, category of airplane. Uh, there were airplanes from all over the state of Florida and some from even South Georgia, I believe. The home builders were there with their enthusiasm and ideas. and It was just a great day all the way around. Wonderful people there at 12 Oaks. They really kept us, well, they kept us fed uh, for one thing. And the guys over on the East Coast must have smelled the burgers and the uh, Italian sausage cooking because here they came in their beautiful RVs in that wonderful formation that they practiced so much. They add a lot to any fly-in and they have a great time doing it. Well, after lunch, Dave and I decided to uh, fire up the Cubs and head back home again. You can see the airplane stretched all the way down to the end of the runway. And uh, so we retraced our steps back from 12 Oaks to our home field at Bob White Airport, Zellwood, Florida. The next fly-in is going to be at Back Acres Airpark, and that's just southeast of Ocala. Hope we see you there.